Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. All right, so the Dallas Cowboys lose in overtime, and it was an ugly, ugly game. 28 accepted penalties. Now I understand. Now, you know what? You know, that you could literally call a penalty in almost every play, but it seems like the Cowboys were always on the bad end of, of calls. It seemed like every time something was going on, good for the Cowboys, they would get a penalty, and, and especially – for the game to be decided on a pass that was underthrown on Anthony Brown, um, that one was one of those ones that you looked at like, what the hell? And quite frankly, here was the thing. Uh, Ed Hockley's, excuse me, Hockley's, I don't know what his son's name is, but that crew now has nine victories for the road team that they've been calling. They, going into that game, were the fourth most called penalties by that crew in the NFL. Um, after the night with 28 called penalties that were accepted, I, I dare say that um, that they may have moved up some. I mean, I think about Micah Parsons, they said offsides, lining up the neutral zone. I think about the Tyron Smith not on the line of scrimmage and holding call that they called uh, the pass interference. And, and, and give credit to the Raiders that realized – the way that the officials were calling it, take advantage of it. They're calling pass interference. They ended up calling 160 yards on the Dallas Cowboys. Now, now I'm not going to put all the blame on the officials in the game because the defense did give up like 509 yards. We, we gave up a lot. I mean, we gave up a lot of real estate. Um, but we kept having drive-killing penalties that hurt us, and they kept having drive continuing opportunities that pass interference was a lifeline on third and you know forever that ended up putting him there literally in, in field goal range you know we have the call that ended up taking a touchdown off the board for us it was just one of those nights and jerry jones jerry jones is pissed jerry jones who realized and says that this is probably the marquee game that we're playing, and this is the product we're putting out on the field, all of these calls, Let, let's listen to Jerry here real quick and, and what he had to say. Cause, my new way. Oh. Here, and so before we start this video. Oh, shit. I don't know why that always keeps happening to me. My son's on my mind. Uh, Oakland took advantage of the situation. Uh, I call it throw-up ball right way to play a game like this, just throw it out there and get a penalty. That's it. 166 yards of penalties? Yeah. What do you make of that? Well, uh, this would probably be arguably the most watched game other than the Super Bowl. And I hate it that uh, it got down to just uh, uh, throwing the ball up and uh, getting penalties to get your big plays. You know, yeah, I... I do way can't take back here the and hell? so before we start... Freaking Philly 500, get away from me. Leave me alone, Philly. Um, yeah, Jerry Jones isn't happy about this. Jerry Jones is like, <laughs> you know, this is the most watched game except maybe the Super Bowl. And here it is, jump ball for a penalty to get your big plays. Michael Gallup, you know, he had his own thoughts on this. It's tough, especially in our own sta stadium. 160 penalty yards. You're playing two teams. You're playing the refs and the other teams. Five takeaways from the Cowboys, an overtime loss. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Yeah, five takeaways that they're saying. Um, Micah Parsons, I think we should play football. We're not here to play tag. Micah Parsons wasn't thrilled about being called roughing the passer. And, and, you know, here was the thing. You know, here it is. Carr is scrambling, and he barely touched the helmet. Carr pulled it off. Oh, my neck. Oh. You know, you, you would have thought that he was had talked to an ambulance chaser and, and was getting ready to put on the neck brace and, and, and take him to court to sue him for, for whiplash. 
he was even in there laughing and gets 15 yards on that. These calls were so bullshit ass calls. It was just unbelievable. 28 penalties. Mike McCarthy literally said, 28 penalties. I don't know what the hell you want me to say. I don't know what the hell you want me to say. This is some bullshit is what I want you to say. Now, you got some part to play in the loss as well because some of the stuff we were doing, the rotating of offensive linemen and the 59-yard field goal and taking the points off the board and then trying to get cute with the play. It was ridiculous. The reality is, like kicking has sucked this year, the officials in, in all of these taunting calls and stuff and the fact that, I, I, I you know what, I want to see some, some fines for shirt tails out. Because this is some crap, and it's like an agenda that's against the Cowboys. You know, fans out there were saying, oh, well, you know, Jerry Jones needs to talk to Roger Goodell. Talk to Roger Goodell? Are you kidding me? Jerry Jones tried to take Roger Goodell's job. Jerry Jones wanted to kick Roger Goodell to the curb about the Zeke Elliott situation where the NFL said, Jerry, you're going to pay the legal fees. Now, there were some bad calls on the Raiders as well. I'm not saying that there weren't. There were just bad calls. To me, you've got a multi-billion dollar business here that is so big that you could go ahead and say, you know what, St. Louis, we're going to give you $750 billion just to go away. Just go away. Here, let me appease you. And you're going to tell me that you can't officiate a game better than that? Your premier game on Thanksgiving? That's some crap. And the thing that kills me about this is, the thing that kills me about this is, there's no ramifications. Player wears a shirt out too far, he gets fined. Unnecessary roughness, you get fined. Right? You get suspended. You get kicked out of a game. For making erroneous moves, calls, I mean things, and actions. What happens to these officials that are literally deciding games out there when they screw up? They miss calls. The Micah Parsons in the neutral zone, some bullshit. Look at it. Go look at it. And as many times as Micah Parsons was held and they didn't call it? The holding call on Tyron Smith in the third quarter that took the Dalton Schultz touchdown off the board? And then we had to settle for a field goal? There were so many calls that were bullshit and questionable. It's ridiculous. Now, Like I said, I, I don't know what there is that the Cowboys can do. You know, the, how about the fumble, the fumble guy catches the ball, takes three steps. He's got the ball. We knock it out. Officials gather around and say, nope, the play was dead. The fuck? There were so many things. That sucked in this one. And unfortunately, not a damn thing we can do about it. Because the Cowboys are not only playing the opposition, they're playing these sorry-ass referees. (sighs) Not the way I wanted to end Thanksgiving, but this, Jerry, you have all right to be pissed. Oakland took advantage of the situation. Uh, I call it throw-up ball. 
right way to play in a game like this, just throw it out there and get a penalty. That's it. 166 yards of penalties? Yeah. What do you make of that? Well, uh, this will probably be arguably the most watched game other than the Super Bowl. And I hate it that uh, it got down to just uh, uh, throwing the ball up and uh, getting penalties to get your big plays. Throw up football. Damn if I don't feel like throwing up right now. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, I'll see you in the morning. Peace.